hybrid maze is one of the most exciting developments to take place in heart rhythm management. During this unique procedure, the skills of cardiac surgery and cardiac electrophysiology are combined to achieve the best possible results for our patients. Initially, the procedure is started by a cardiac surgeon working in the cardiac electrophysiology laboratory. In this procedure, the heart is accessed by taking a scope through the diaphragm and allowing passage of the instruments to the posterior portion of the heart and allowing the pericardial space to be reached. This allows an entirely closed chest model. The procedure is performed with direct visualization of the beating heart. The specialized electrophysiologic radiofrequency ablation device made by N-Contact is a specialized vacuum device that can be placed by the cardiac surgeon in relevant areas to allow for transmural application and development of SCAR. The goal is to recreate the classic maze procedure by placing a series of seven burns along pericardial folds. This animation demonstrates the seven lines that are made with the end contact system by the cardiac surgeon in the electrophysiology laboratory. Both the left and right atrium receive long linear transmural burns that take care of most of the pulmonary vein isolation that is required for this procedure. Nonetheless, as you can see here, there remain areas that are not touched with the end contact epicardial approach, and we approach those with standard endocardial ablation, utilizing an advanced three-dimensional electroanatomical mapping system. We ablate inside the heart. We complete the lines, uh, given that there are generally specific areas along the anterior aspect of the pulmonary veins that need to be approached. Once we complete the radio frequency, we're able to go about in a very systematic manner and confirm the complete full thickness lesions and assess for full block from the pulmonary veins. With this, we ensure that we've performed an optimal procedure for this complex arrhythmia patient. The ideal patient would have a large left atrium, preferably greater than five, failed prior ablation, and not have had prior cardiac or abdominal surgery. For further information, 888-4-ABLATE or www.ablate.net.